Hey there, this is Gaurav. Welcome back with another video of the series Learn JavaScript from Scratch. So today we will be talking about conditional statement that is if, else and else if. So before that we have already discussed about conditional operators, right? That is ternary operator. So here the purpose is same, but the way is different. So we will see that. So without wasting any further time, let's jump right in. So in JavaScript also we have conditional statement like other language. So first of all we have if statement. So if specified condition gives you true the value. So we have already discussed about true the and false value, right? If specified condition gives you true the value, then it will specify a block of code to be executed. Then we have else statement. If specified condition will give you false value, then it will specify a block of code to be executed. Then we have else if. So if specified condition will give false value, then it will specify a new condition to test. And then we have switch case. That is, it will select one of many code blocks to be executed based on condition. In this video, I will talk about first three statement. And you don't have to worry about, you know, remembering all this stuff. We'll understand this from example and it is a very simple. So let's see that. So again, I'm back to JSPIN. So we'll be talking about conditional statement. So this if, else, else, if, this all are nothing but keyword, okay? So it's time to play with keyword. So let me give you one problem statement. It's a very easy problem statement. I know you can do it. So here we go. So here is a problem statement. So we are having input that is marks and pass marks and we are having output. So your output would be pass if your marks is greater than pass marks. It will be fail if it is less than pass marks. Okay. Let me do it greater equal. Something like that. If it is more or equal to pass marks, then you will pass the exam. If it is less than your pass marks, then you will fail the exam. So it's very simple. Just pause the video and do it. Do it based on what we know so far. So we know about conditional operator. Okay. So we can do it very easily using conditional operator. So we'll just take one variable marks. Let me take 35. We'll be taking one more variable. Let's say it is 30 and we'll be taking result where we will store the result whether pass or fail. Okay. Now the condition, let me write the condition. This is my condition. Okay. So if this will give you true the value, we'll be showing pass otherwise fail. Make sense? So it's a condition operator, very simple. So let me just console the result. So before that, let me just do it semicolon. So let me just run it. So currently we are having uh, marks as 35, which is greater than my pass mark that is 30. So I should be getting pass over here. Let's see that we are getting pass. So if I write something like, let's say 25, then we will get fail. So now the same thing we will implement using conditional statement, not using conditional operators. So here we go. So how we will do it? We will use if and else statement. So first here is a syntax. First we'll write if it is nothing but the keyword. And here within the first bracket, we'll write the condition. What is my condition? My first condition is this. And then I will write a block. So this is called block. If you write something within curly braces, this is something called block. Okay. So whatever I will write inside it, this is my if block. So what I will write, I will write result equal to pass. Okay. But before that I have to declare this result. I will declare over here. Let's say. So now we will write else over here again, we'll create one block. And now here we will write fail. What is happening first, uh, it will check this condition. If this condition will give you true the value, okay, which is true, then this part will be executed. Or if this will give you false value, which is not true, then my else part would be executed. So this is the if block and 
this is the else block now let us try to run the same thing so in first scenario we should get fail because it is 25 let's see that we are getting fail now if i write it let's say 35 we should be getting pass okay so now we have implemented that using if else statement now we are having one more thing that is else if so in order to understand else if let me just change the problem statement okay so now let's say we are having only marks not pass marks but instead of pass and fail we should be showing the grade so let's say i should show output as grade a if my marks is let's say greater equal to 90 or we can make it 80 as well i mean just i'm giving some random number if your marks is greater or equal to 80 i should show a what about b so in case of b your if your marks is greater or equal to let's say 60 and here i'll be using logical and so that it will check both the condition and your marks should be less than 80 otherwise let's say we have something like c in this scenario if your marks is let's say uh, greater than uh, equal to 30 or it is something let's say less than equal to 60 then you will get c otherwise you will get d which is let's say fail or something like disqualified in case of d if it is just less than equal to 30 so now if i will tell you to implement this problem statement using conditional statement how you will do that are you facing any difficulties well it's fine let me just help you so now what is happening here we are having only two statement i mean two possible values either pass or fail but if we have multiple possible value then we have to go for else if so in first condition we will start with if okay so here it says if if your marks is let's say just copy and paste it let's see if your marks is more than equal to 80 i should show a so now instead of writing only else we will write else if so here also i have to write the condition let me just copy the condition fine so it would be my b so what is happening first it will check this condition if this will give you false value then it will check the another condition if this also will give you false value then we will be having one more else if control will go to that else if so here my condition would be for c grade so here it would be c so now if this all will fail then we are having only one condition left that is for d in that scenario we can directly write else it will come to else block and my result would be d so now let me just check so currently we are having 35 so according to my logic it should be c right we are not having pass marks now let me comment it so let's see we are getting c right so now if i write let's say 15 we should be getting d let's see that you're getting d if i am writing let's say 50 um 65 let's say which is coming under b let's check we are getting b okay and now if i write let's say something like 85 or 95 let's say it should be coming under a okay so now we have successfully implemented uh, this problem statement using conditional statement and this is very useful we will be using a lot now just one important thing let me tell you so now if you're writing only a single line let's say result equal to a then it's okay if you don't use this curly braces so by default if you will not provide any curly braces any block by default it will consider only single line so here also we can remove it out and this is only applicable if you have only single line statement but if you have multiple line then we should have this curly braces block okay so let me just remove this for all still i'll show you it will work fine but in some scenario if you write let's say another line let's say i'm just writing console.log 
let's say hi something like that and i haven't mentioned any block here any curly braces over here in such scenario you will get an error okay see you are getting an error so in such scenario you should write that curly braces now things will be fine see we are not getting an error we are getting both the result here i can prove it one thing let's say if i write multiple line in else block without having any curly braces then what will happen let's see that in that case what happened so now your high will be printed every time because it is not inside any condition okay so by default as i mentioned if you don't provide any block i mean any curly braces by default it will take only one line right so that means this line will be executed always if i write let's say uh, 55 then also this line will be executed because this is outside of this conditional statement if you want to make it inside then you have to write that block as simple as that so i hope you got the idea of a problem statement like if and else in the next video we'll be talking about switch case so see you on the next video thanks for watching take care tata bye bye